made it to Miami without any problems. While I wait for my trip, my flight to Madrid, I wanted to just kind of go through my goals of what I want to walk away from when I'm done in the trip. Uh, so the first thing that I want to get out of my trip is to learn how to relax and to have the European kind of style of life where things are less about work, less about the day-to-day go-go-go like it is in America, being present, uh, basically finding a personality outside of work, and patience, living in the moment, and just more relaxed lifestyle that I have read about in Europe. All right, guys. Well, that is all that I've got here for you tonight. I do just want to say that it has been a pleasure and a privilege to host here tonight. Hi, hey, everybody. This is Nancy from Ragnar's Raiders. We've been coming here with Nick for two and a half years now. We're one of the original teams. I just want to say we, as Ragnar's Raiders, have played trivia over the years at multiple venues. And I have to say, we love Nick, and he has been the best trivia host yeah. in the So, we love you, we love Nick too, and please keep in touch. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you guys. It has been an incredible two and a half year run. You're getting the Chuck Thank Norris you so bus. Oh. <laughs> that can never be wrong. Come here. Thanks, sir. For the last time, whether you won or you lost, I hope you had a great time. Winners, I'll be along with your prizes. Have a great 2022, right? Yes, 2022. All right, it's 2022. Woo! How are we feeling? Woo! We made it. We made it. Yes. Year, new me. New year, new Nate. <laughs> In like a month, you won't be drinking champagne. You'll be drinking kava. Month? Try nine days! <laughs> the second thing that I want to get out of the trip is to improve my Spanish. Um, it's always been a goal of mine to become fluent, and so I think this will be a really good way to walk away with maybe not fluency, but definitely more proficient at Spanish. Okay, everyone, say España! España! <laughs> Nick, to you, I'm amazed what you've accomplished. By the time you're what, 30 something years old? You don't old. know how old I am? <laughs> so far, and I hate that you're leaving. I love that you're leaving. So, Here's everyone I'm that came. Say hello. To say goodbye to me. Hi. So I just wanted to say thank you all so much for coming. This was a huge surprise. It really was. I'm leaving all of you behind, going by myself to a place I really only been one time in my life, don't speak the language, so it's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a lot harder than I thought um, up until kind of this week. Sarah put it probably aptly, she said reality slapping me in the face and it really is that, you know, up until now it's been just kind of this dream, I'm moving to Spain, I'm moving to Spain, okay, but now it's here, it's actually happening, so there's consequences to that and that means saying goodbye and the third thing that I want to do is to continue to work on my fitness, so strength training, running, whether it's a marathon, half marathon, Spain and Europe, I want to be able to at least maintain or improve my fitness from where I am now. Alright, so this is my trainer too. Um, he's been training me for almost a year now and so it's his last chance to torture me today. So. Uh, we're gonna see what he has in store, but he's been amazing. He's uh, helped me PR all my races and gain a lot of strength and lose some weight. So it's our last time together. So let's see what he has in store. experience as much of Spain and Europe as I can while I'm over there. Um, right now the goal is one trip a month outside of Spain. Uh, I want 
want to make sure that I have enough time in Spain that I experience living there so I'm not gone all the time. Um, and that way, I think that's a good goal, once a month in another country. All right, so it is time to finally start trying to shove all of this stuff into suitcases. And <laughs> I have so much stuff that hopefully Sarah, who's here with me, I'm praying to be able to help figure this out. We so. have a semi-plan of attack. We have a semi-plan of attack, and we're gonna try to execute it. And we'll see if we're successful, or if I am gonna not bring half of this stuff, so. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't know. look, like it it doesn't look very good. We're chipping, chipping away. Like you're gonna fit all that in? I, no, I don't. I don't think it's gonna work. It's looking a little less crowded in here. I don't know. We got piles of stuff everywhere. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, Sarah. Trust the process? Yes, trust the process. <laughs> We're All right. <laughs> All right, we have made significant progress here. And by we, I mean Sarah did all of this. Like, look at how gorgeous this packing is. I feel like this I'm... was like the Olympics of uh, <laughs> gold medal in packing goes to Sarah Mar. I just want... The thing I kind of want to get out of this trip to Spain is to immerse myself to meet natives and other internationals, not rely on Americans. Um, although, you know, meeting Americans is fine. I just want to make sure that I meet and then networking with, with locals and natives. Um, we're here for our last training run at last Armature. Riverwalk run! Riverwalk. 50 degrees and the wind is blowing so it is freezing so we're gonna warm up and then we are gonna start running for our last training run ah here we go last training run <laughs> <laughs> Woo! we're about a mile in just over a mile this is like the prettiest part you got ut over there University of Tampa. I used to work in the Sykes building right there, that round one. <sighs> All right, we're almost to mile two. The worst part of this run, this bridge, it's not bad going this way, but on the return trip, yeah. it is a steep bridge. It's not what you want towards the end of the run. We're over three miles in. We're on the island. I think we're doing good, Sarah. Yeah. We're definitely warm. Yeah. Cold was not a factor. Cold's not a factor. Wind is. About 10K. So 6.2. This is our reward. This bridge. I hate it. You're already tired. You're six miles in. And then you have this incline. in a mile. We're at the Straz, one of my favorite places. It means we're almost home. Sarah's kicking my butt today. I can't keep her pace, but that's okay. It's just a training run. But yeah, here's the Straz, where all the Broadway plays are. I've been here many times. I love it. And we're just on the river walk. All right. We're gonna kill this last mile. And that's it. One hour, 14 minutes, eight miles. Last training run in Tampa on the river walk. About, I started like, running again here at the river walk by myself. I 
didn't, didn't get Sarah Need into it for a little while, but when I started, you know, it was hard. It was hard to do three miles, and I started at three miles, and then I worked my way up. And I remember in the summer, I was doing eight miles, and I got trapped. It was so <laughs> hot. I was at the convention center. I couldn't even, I literally could not walk another mile back here to where my car was parked. My parents had to come save me. So to be leaving for Spain after doing eight miles today, and like, look, we're perfectly fine, like, don't even feel pain, like, it, just a whirlwind, you know? Like, look how far I've come. I got, I, it's like sad to say goodbye. Like, I feel like stupidly sentimental about the river walk and like armature works, but yeah, it's gonna be my last time here in a while and I'm sure I'll find places in Spain to run, but this will always be kind of my, you know, restarting journey, I guess, to running and fitness and everything and thinking, I ran two half marathons, PR'd both of them. <laughs> All the running that I've done, else? incline, all the hiking in Colorado, you know, the river walk was a big part of that, so. Bye, river walk, I'm gonna miss you. Bye, river walk. Last thing that I wanna get out of the trip is to become less jaded and negative. A lot, you know, I've built up a lot of negativity through US politics, through my career, just becoming jaded with the way things are. So I'm really hoping to lessen those sharp edges and become happier and more open-minded and positive about just the state of the world. We're at the airport. Going to the chicken encounter. Bye, Tampa. <laughs> But yeah, my flight was canceled this morning, but I got rebooked on another one to Miami, so yeah, all worked out. How are you feeling, Nicholas? Um, lots of things. Yeah. Probably nervous, very sad, yeah. but also excited. Concerned. Oh, there's Ashley! <gasps> Ashley! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Nah. Where's it at? We made it. <laughs> you got your health uh, locator. You got your passport. Health locator? Is that paper? Yeah, yep, make sure you have that. it. They'll scan it in Madrid. Yep, I got that. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Next, first class priority. <laughs> Success. Success. Just goodbye to everyone. It's really sad. I know I'm doing the right thing. I really want to go. It's so hard to say goodbye. I miss everyone so much. I know it's going to be sad for just a little while. But I'll be back. Sad times. Kind of realizing everything's hitting me kind of now. It's really real. I'm leaving here all up by myself. The adventure is about to begin. First step.